Hi, I'm Danny. Welcome back to another video. Have you ever been driving down the road and your air conditioner is working great? Then you come to a stop and the AC starts blowing warmer? This could be caused by your fans. In today's video, I'll go over possible reasons why your fans either won't come on or intermittently shut off. On most Hondas, both fans should come on when the ignition key is on and your air conditioning button is turned on. Most Hondas also have diagnostics in the AC control head. We're gonna start there. Let's get started. So we're gonna put the key in the ignition. We're gonna hold the rear defogger button down and the reset button down and turn the key on. Radiator fans start up again. Blower motor turns on. As you can see, there's no codes flashing. The control head checks out good. Let's go to the outside of the vehicle and let's do a quick overview of the fans. This is the condenser. It's mounted behind the grill. I removed this cover to get you a better view. Here's the radiator. The condenser mounts to the front of the radiator. As you're driving down the road, air is pushed through the grill, through the condenser, through the radiator, and it exits the engine compartment. When you're at a stop, there is no air being forced through the condenser or the radiator. This is why you need fans. If you had no fans, your car would overheat, especially at stops and the air conditioner would not get cold. Most fans are mounted behind the radiator. My 2007 Honda Element has two fans. The condenser fan on the right and the radiator fan is on the left. Now that you have a general idea of why fans are needed, let's see how they're controlled. Most of the fuses and relays are gonna be in the underhood relay and fuse box. This is the condenser fan relay. Watch the condenser fan stop as I remove the relay. This one is the radiator fan. Watch the radiator fan stop. The one next to it is the AC compressor clutch. You won't be able to hear much on this one, but I'll go ahead and remove it. If it was running, then you would hear it clicking on and off. And then this one is the blower motor. Listen for the blower motor to stop. And this is the right hand headlamp. And this is the left hand headlamp. So the reason I'm showing you these two is because if you had one of the fans that weren't working, you could just take one of these relays because it's the same type of relay and you could plug it in. And if your fan started working, you know it was a relay. The relay is one of the most common problems on this car. So you can do that also with the AC clutch or either fans. So if you have a fan that's not working or the AC compressor clutch isn't turning on or it's intermittent, check it with a known good relay. That's the most common problem on these cars. So we need to see if our fan connector has power and ground. So I already disconnected it here, but what I do want to show you is this tab here and it connects here. So this is the way it connects. I'm gonna go ahead and just slide it in. It just clips in and then just take your fingernail on the back side of it, push towards the front of the car and just push it out. So what you're doing is just pushing, releasing the tab. And then we're gonna go ahead and check for power and ground on this connector. So we're gonna check here, and I'm using the Innova 5420 for this. So the green light means ground, and this says zero volts. And the red light says 10.9, that's battery voltage. And it has that, that red light there. 
So ground, power, we're good here. And then we're gonna power up the fan. So this was the ground. And there's a black wire for ground. So the cool thing about this tool, it has a dedicated ground wire attached to it. So this is gonna be battery ground. Put it right in there. And then we just gotta power this up and the fan should work. There it is. So we just verified the fan doesn't have a problem and it's getting power and ground. There's also an air conditioning cutoff switch that'll cause the fans not to come on. Let me show you where that is and how to test it. Now, if you look over here by the water bottle, if you look down there, there's this AC switch and it's disconnected right now. So if it's a bad switch or broken wire, it's also not gonna work. Let me go ahead and just plug that in. There it is, and the fans came on and they're both running. All right, so now I'm gonna check the AC pressure switch connector for voltage. It should have battery voltage here. I've got my test leads in. I have my key on and I have my AC switch pressed. So this should be on the voltage scale and I should read battery voltage and that's what I'm doing. So our pressure switch connector is good. So you wanna test this switch for an open. So I've got my meter leads on the switch and then here's my readings and it's connected, it doesn't have an open. If it had an open, your meter reading would look like that. But if the switch is good, it looks like this. There's also some fuses you should check. Fuse number one, it's a 30 amp, and that's for the condenser fan. And fuse number four, that's for the radiator fan, and that's a 20 amp. There's many other things that'll cause your AC not to blow cold. I have videos on air conditioning problems. I'll add links to those in the description. I tried to cover the most common problems with fans, but if I miss something and you think it would help others, please add it to the comments below. This channel is all about helping others, and I would appreciate if you help me grow my channel by subscribing and giving this video a like. I hope you learned something in today's video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.